Hello everyone! Today, we are going to learn about the different parts of the Bunsen burner and how to light up a Bunsen burner. Let's begin. The Bunsen burner is connected to the gas tap by a rubber tubing. The base provides support for the Bunsen burner. The air hole allows air to enter the barrel. The barrel raises the flame to a suitable height. The collar is a metal piece that can be rotated. It controls the amount of air entering the air hole. The jet enables the gas to rush out from the gas supply and to draw in air. To light up the Bunsen burner, first we check that the rubber tubing is properly connected to the gas tap. The gas is turned off when the knob is perpendicular to the rubber tubing. Next, we rotate the collar to close the air hole. Hold the gas lighter just above the barrel, turning on the gas tap at the same time. Ignite the lighter just above the barrel. We then have a luminous flame. This occurs when the air holes are closed and very little air is allowed to mix with the gas. It is an orange flame that is flickering and unsteady. We can open the air hole slightly once the flame is lit to obtain a non-luminous flame. This is a blue flame that burns steadily. The non-luminous flame is hotter than the luminous flame. It burns more cleanly and doesn't leave behind any carbon residue. To turn off the Bunsen burner, we simply turn the knob on the gas tap. By opening the air hole, we allow more air to mix with the gas before combustion, so the flame burns hotter. For general heating, it is recommended that you keep the air hole half open and use a non-luminous flame. When lighting up the Bunsen burner, it is important to close the air holes first. If you light the Bunsen burner with the air holes fully open, you may get a strike back. A strike back occurs when there is too much air entering the air hole. Instead of burning at the top of the barrel, the gas burns at the jet. Turn off the Bunsen burner immediately as it is extremely hot. 